second day and you guys it is so windy and so cold like freaking cold and it is so windy so today i have basic things i want to do the first thing is to get a sim card because i don't have a sim card yet and also to get bank account because you guys know that it is necessary to have bank account so i need to get bank account i need to get a sim card and i also need to do registration in the school so those three things are the basic thing i want to do today which is the second day so yesterday something amazing happened so when i went to the mall to shop for things i mistakenly broke two mugs yesterday so the normal ninja vibes in me now i wanted to start packing up the mug and i was really thinking about paying 34 swatsy because each of the mugs were 17 swatsy so the two mugs were basically about 34 swatsy as i was about packing it up they just told me you know what don't worry and they are going to take care of it i was very happy because how on earth do i want to pay 34 zloty for something i didn't use so today is actually very cold and i'll definitely bring you guys along with me so guys i've been able to get the sim card i feel like it's also necessary for you to know you know sim cards that are very good and has like good offer for data plan and also for phone plan so i got that now i'm basically done with the sim card the next thing we have to do now is to go ahead and get our bank details so that we can start cashing out okay so that we can start receiving money and we can start cashing out basically but i'm heading down to the bank and after that i will head over to the school to get like my school registration so So guys, I'm true. I was basically able to do everything from getting my account to SIM and also like school documentation and it wasn't really stressful today or like yesterday. Yesterday was so stressful but I'm also going to say that my observation is the fact that these Polish people actually love standing. Like they really really love standing so you get into a bus or a train and then you have seats but they are standing like why are you standing where you have chairs to sit down i don't know but to me it just looks summer because in nigeria for an example people stand in brt buses but people only stand when there is no seats but yeah there is seats and you are standing like even those that are old those that are young they love standing basically i'm just going to say that they love standing another thing i also observe is the fact that in nigeria when you see like elderly women you stand up for them you do this for them they don't send you like nobody actually send you like i know the man can actually be standing and you're sitting because on a normal day there's chair and they're even standing on a normal day so I feel like that's something I noticed today. Another thing I also noticed is the fact that they are so friendly. Like I'm going to say that, you know, for an example, I got into the school for school registration and the lecturer was so friendly. Like imagine your lecturer trying to like strike up conversations with you, trying to know how you're feeling, your welfare, how you coping. I feel like Nigeria educational system really just have a lot to do because in Nigeria they feel like before you have a good grade you must have like a level of um, strictness or discipline you know your lecturers come into the class and they show you like who they are you get what I'm trying to say like your lecturers are very strict like you have like very extreme strict lecturers that you know their strictness will determine how people is going to pass the course but yeah I feel like their lecturers relate with you on a normal level and in nigeria for example you address like your lecturers with their title so you say dr this mr this yeah you basically call out their name if their name is claire you say claire there's no doctor there's no professor there is nothing you call out their name you address them basically and they also like address you that way which i'm going to say that it just makes the educational system to be very soft and also friendly compared to nigeria where 
it's extremely like too straight i don't know if you guys can read it but let me just know in the comment section so another observation here is the fact that there is no reptile so you can't find lizard you can't find cockroach you know because the weather is pretty cold of course they have trees but those reptiles cannot really survive how do they want to survive in minus one temperature how will they survive in two <laughs> my human brain is freezing how does lizard and cockroach or rats how do they even intend to survive in this freezing weather so i feel like because of that um those reptiles are not here basically because they cannot even survive in this cold weather which is something that's actually very cool so so far so good these are my observation um if there's any other observation definitely i'm going to share with you guys in the vlog and this is how my day definitely went today and i was able I basically resumed very late to school because of visa processing and I'm basically trying to catch up with the studies and everything so I'm going to bring you guys along with me while I start. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight how polish pasta looks like and this is the pasta so it's called um lubella lubella chant i don't know what this world looks like anyways so that's what i'm basically making and the form of proportion so catch me if i fall When you are done serving your food, you need to also eat the bottom part in the pot, especially when it comes to like concussion rice, jollof rice, jollof spaghetti. You guys behave just so you notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. Damn, what a hell of a view! I feel good, you look great. I like you, I can't wait. Our first time, our first day, you're so fine. I'm so late. You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall what happened to me today so my first day at school and my laptop is not working like my laptop is not working can you guys imagine <laughs> so i 
basically came here to fix it and i was asked to drop it and then come back in about two to three days so this is where i came to fix it so i'm heading back now to school i have lectures by by 10 30. jordan bray jordan bray i literally had like my first test today <laughs> <laughs> I literally had like my first text or exams today and I'm gonna say that you know I'm just gonna say how I feel just in case if there's someone out there who can basically relate to the whole scenario so it's easier like I feel like if you want to further your education to be honest do it you know the moment you have like a break before coming back to school you guys trust me it's not gonna be easy as it used to be like after your bsc if you want to further for your msc or your phd just do it like do it immediately because the moment you take a break and then you come back it's like your brain is not used to it like your brain is not used to the reading the stress and everything and i also feel like it's going to take a while or it's going to be quite difficult for you to assimilate compared to when you know you are doing it back to back i don't know how to explain it but shout out to those of you who are combining school and motherhood together you guys are really trying like if you're in that situation whereby you're also going to school and you're a mother thumbs up please thumbs up like put a comment in the comment section i need to personally say you're doing well because <sighs> just combining school with like business alone with you know new environment is even so difficult for me especially the fact that i basically like joined them very late i was trying to like round off like certain things and then i got in like two weeks to exam <laughs> and the fact that you know and i also feel like one of the major challenge that i have is the fact that um is basically like not in the same field generally you get what i'm trying to say like you are, you are in this field and then you want to like upgrade to another field it also takes like a bit of commitment and consistency for you to be able to achieve it so what i'm trying to say is this so let's say you are into um let's say accounting or something for your bsc and then you want to go for your msc just like look for something that is also in line with that accounting so that you can basically like relate or like have like an in-depth knowledge on it so the moment you're doing like accounting and then you are going for like something different it takes like a while or it's not going to be as easy as when you are doing something in the field however that doesn't mean that you cannot cope but it's only going to take like a lot of commitments a lot of hard work and also like a lot of time to like assimilate and all of that but anyways <laughs> it is what it is okay so we had uh managerial economics and you guys i didn't do well just let me cast myself <laughs> and i feel like you know quite a 